Hey everyone, Antoinette here. Today, I'm gonna to talk about the difference between being transparent versus being vulnerable and which one is better. So many people use these words interchangeably, like they mean the same thing. And I have been guilty of this as well. However, even though they're similar, they are indeed different. And they make a difference in the depth of your relationships, professionally and personally. So first of all, what's the difference between the two? They both go beyond just being honest. Transparency is when you're volunteering information about yourself or about the situation that you really didn't have to do. So you're being an open book. You're being totally honest. You're being totally open. You're even volunteering things that they did not ask you about. And so you're going that extra step beyond honesty. However, vulnerability goes the step beyond transparency because vulnerability is not only being honest about the situation and what's going on in your life, Vulnerability is letting a person know how you feel about it, your emotions. And that is a whole different level whenever we start sharing our emotions about something. So let me break out a couple of examples as to what this looks like and where vulnerability will take you versus where transparency stops. So say for instance, somebody asks you how your job's going and you've just lost your job. And so because they've asked you, you're being honest about it and you say, you know what, I actually lost my job. In this situation, transparency would go a step beyond that. Transparency is when you tell them, I actually lost my job and I've been applying different places and nothing's really looking promising at this point. But you're going beyond honesty. You're actually being transparent with them. You're letting them know that you don't have any prospects. You are being totally open about the situation. You're not trying to pretend like everything's okay. You're not trying to pretend like there's nothing wrong. However, a step beyond that would be vulnerability. Vulnerability is when you tell them about the job situation and you're saying, yeah, and I really don't have any prospects. And by being vulnerable, you say, and you know what? It's actually keeping me up at night because I am getting really worried about this. Here's another example. A friend asks you, so how's everything going? And if you were honest, you might say, things are actually not going very well. To go beyond that would be to be transparent and say, things are not going very well. I actually had this disagreement with my best friend and we're not even talking to each other now. We had this disagreement several weeks ago and, and I've been texting her and she's just not responding to my texts. To be vulnerable is to go a step beyond that, telling them about your disagreement with your friend and that your friend's not responding to your texts and then to say, and you know, this is really bothering me because I really do miss her friendship and I wish there was a way that we could get over this. So you see, vulnerability is letting people see into your emotions. And in these cases, as you can see, vulnerability is when we're revealing things about ourselves that show our imperfections, that show our humanness, that show that we're not this perfect person. That's what being vulnerable is all about. Now, why do we want to do that? Transparency helps develop trust. Whenever we're transparent with someone, they feel like they can trust us because we're going to be totally open. However, there's a trust but also a guard up. But when we're vulnerable with someone, we're letting that guard down. We're saying that I'm going to trust you by telling you this and I'm going to let my guard down. I'm going to reveal something about me that shows my imperfections. Believe me, it takes such courage to do that. And the amazing thing about the more vulnerable you are in the right situations, whenever you're trying to deepen a relationship with someone personally, even professionally, is to show some of that vulnerability and know that it's going to help deepen that relationship. It's going to help build trust. And if you are vulnerable, 
you're going to realize that it takes a lot of confidence to show vulnerability. We think of vulnerability as a weakness because we are relaying something that is weak about ourselves. But when we do that, we end up showing that we're confident enough to let others see and know our weaknesses. And that is a great strength to have. If you have enjoyed this video, I hope you'll share it and subscribe to my channel.